Hi, introduce yourself. I am Benjamin Smith. Are you, what grade are you in? I'm a junior. So, how do you deal with your pre-race anxiety? Uh, it kind of changes what I'll do. I don't know. What do you think is the most effective way to deal with your pre-race anxiety? I mean, that's a rough one. Sometimes, in order to kind of like stabilize my breathing, my breathing will start to get messed up. I'll kind of act like I'm singing a song. Which, what that does is it makes it so I'm not breathing so quickly. So that'll help kind of like regulate breathing patterns so my breathing's being messed up before a race from that. Hi, who are you? I'm Anna Berliner, I'm a junior. So, is this your first year at Marshall? My name is William Blackfall. And what grade are you in? Um, I'm a um, sophomore. <laughs> how many years have you been running track or how many seasons? Um, so six seasons in total. This is my sixth season. Um, that means cross country, two, um, two seasons of track both years. Nice. So you do long distance? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me about what today is like? What day? Where are we going? Well, today is hump day. Yeah. Um, we are going to Jeff Stewart High School to run the um, 800. Um, well, I'm running the 800. That sucker right there is running the two mile. Woohoo! Um, but yeah. Okay. No Thank you. Um, Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Mark Alakadak. I'm a freshman. Okay, so do you do long distance or sprints? I do long distance. So, how do you deal with your pre race anxiety? Food. Coach Andrew Litterst, I'm the assistant sprint coach this year for the Marshall Statesman. What motiva motivated you to become a coach? I'm really just like yelling at kids. Okay, anything else? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not in the greatest running shape anymore. I used to be a solid mid-distance runner though. Uh, I teach at Marshall and so I really kind of want to give back to the community a little bit more. So I decided I'll take what I know about that mid-distance uh, mid events and I'll try to pass my knowledge on to uh, a dedicated younger generation. Thank you.